Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Union Cross Nation, and for today's video, we're going to be going over the entire third anniversary quiz event, uh, and just kind of walking through you guys all of the answers in case you need any help with it, um, especially any new or beginner players out there. Uh, this They did a really good job with this year's anniversary quiz event, and I highly recommend you give it a go. You'll probably learn a lot. So without further ado, let's get started with the event. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in order uh, through, how many is there, 10? All 10 quests. We're going to go through the questions. Uh, I'll probably explain the reasonings behind some of them as well. Uh, and so on. So let's start with the first one. So the first question is, no matter how high your special attack or special attack mul bonus multipliers, you'll only do one damage if your what is not higher than the enemy's defense. There's special attack bonus multiplier, strength, and special attack multiplier as the options. The answer here is going to be strength because of the fact that it only makes sense that if your strength is not higher than the enemy's defense, you're not going to do any damage. Um, in a mathematical sense, it's literally strength minus defense. <laughs> um, the special attack bonus multiplier, that is literally a, multiple, a multiplier of your strength. Um, as well as the special attack multiplier. So both of the other options rely on your strength in the first place. Uh, amplify it in order to help you be greater than the opponent's strength. So regardless of what, uh, like which of the options have, they're all related to strength. So the answer is strength. Okay, so for question number two, it is, what is the best special attack ability to boost the strength of a metal? For this question, you're given the option of raising your strength, your, raising your upright and reverse strength, and raising your power, speed, and or magic strength. Okay. The answer for this one is going to be uh, the one on the left, strength, because, or otherwise known within the community as general strength. Uh, straight, mostly because of the fact that this is the buff um, or stat increase that most directly, most has the biggest impact on how strong your metals actually are. Okay, the other two options they do increase the output of damage that you provide on enemies. However, they are nowhere near as impactful compared to general strength. So for this question, the answer is going to be the left one, just strength or general strength as the community calls it. As they mentioned right here, general strength modifies the strength of a metal, upright reverse strength, and power speed magic strength modifies damage dealt. Go to menu, then other, then help for more information. For question number three, they say, other than boosting your strength, you can also deal more damage by lowering the enemy's defense. Which special attack ability lowers the enemy's defense? They provide the options of reducing their upright reverse strength, their power speed magic, I mean defense, my bad. Upright reverse defense, power speed magic defense, or just defense. Okay. Um, the answer here is going to be just defense or general defense, similar to how it was with strength. Uh, it's the same line of thought for this question, just, just for defense instead of strength. Okay. Uh, reducing the opponent's general defense will always have a much bigger impact compared to any of the other uh, attribute defense uh, debuffs, such as Upright Reverse or PSM. So for this answer, is going to be defense pretty much for the exact same reasons that General Strength was the answer for the last question. Okay. 
As I mentioned here, general defense modifies the enemy's defense. Upright reverse defense and power speed magic defense modifies damage taken. For the next question, they say, they ask, using Chip and Dale medals, how high can you boost the strength slash defense of a medal with supernova, granted or strengthened? Now, to be honest, this question is actually worded kind of incorrectly. Um, I know the answer, but it's worded kind of incorrectly strictly because of the fact that there are some supernovas in the game that the answer isn't reflected upon. So the answer for this question, they're trying to ask in terms of the Meow Wow evolvable supernova medals. How much Chippendales can those have? Which for this answer is going to be 3000 Chippendales, okay? Uh, in terms of a stat boost. And that's why I'm saying like this question is kind of worded incorrectly because there are still some medals in the game that have supernova but are not evolvable with Miawa medals just yet, so they can only have 1,000 Chips and Dales so far. Uh, and good examples of these medals are going to be the uh, Supernova HD Terra Aqua Ventus, uh, the TVA medal, Terra Venta Aquas, like Terra Ventus Aqua all in one medal, um, as well as there's still the exclusive Supernova uh, Elsa medal that came with the Frozen collaboration that happened not so long ago. I might be missing one or two more as far as I can tell, but as far as I can tell, those are pretty much the main ones that are still not evolvable with um, Yawas just yet. So this question is worded kind of incorrectly. Uh, and I think they should have mentioned Yawas for this question to n avoid confusion. But the answer for this question is 3000 chips and tips. For question number five, they ask, the multiplier shown beneath each Keyblade slot modifies what? You're given the options of Special Attack Multiplier, Special Attack Bonus Multiplier, or just Strength. <coughs> so, the answer for this question is going to be Strength. Because, quite literally, um, all... Pretty much anything in this game that increases your damage output is related to strength <laughs> pretty much okay uh the slot that your keyblades have those literally just multiply your uh your strength uh buffs such as like general strength buffs or you know upright psm upright reverse all that good stuff pretty much everything your guilt percentage or as it's sh labeled in the game um, in case you're not familiar with the term guilt, uh, it's labeled in the game as special attack multiplier. All of these are just literally just multipliers of your strength stats. So the answer for this is going to be strength. For question number six, they ask the sub slot multiplier is what to each Keyblade slot multiplier? <clears throat> they give the options of multiplied by, added to, or subtracted from. The answer to this question is going to be added to, because when you go to the pet slot uh, section, um, each metal is worth a very minuscule amount. And so like a tier 7 medal, I believe, is a 0 0.02 uh, additional multiplier. Okay, so you're literally adding it to the multipliers of your subslot. So the answer to this is going to be added to. They mention here that, for example, if the subslot multiplier is 1, and a metal is set in an attribute matching keyblade slot with a multiplier of 3, the metal strength will increase by 4 times. Or, they worded it a little bit weirdly, but they should have said that it will 
total of a, four, a slot multiplier of four, which will increase the metal strength by four. <laughs> by times four, I should say. For question number seven, they ask, the damage multiplier of supernova modifies the metals what? Given the options of special attack multiplier, strength, or special attack bonus multiplier. The answer for this one is going to be strength because of the fact that how supernova works, supernova is kind of uh, similar to how a special attack multiplier is. It, if you go and click on a supernova and you look at your supernova for your metal, you will see it kind of like a multiplication uh, multiplier on the supernova itself. That is literally just a multiplier of your strength itself. And that your strength stat is literally what determines the damage output of your supernova metal. So if you remember from some of the previous questions, the slot multiplier that the metal is placed on in your keyblade also multiplies your strength stat. So the way that supernovas work is that if uh, your supernova has a multiplier that multiplies your strength, as well as your slot also has a multiplier that multiplies your strength. So when you think about it, not only does uh, strength boost, such as with traits like plus 1000 strength trait, um, or a boost in metal will increase the damage output of your supernova, but as well as the slot that you put it in will also increase the strength of your supernova. Uh, yeah, supernova. So the higher the multiplier of the slot you place it in, as well as the higher the strength that itself that the metal has, the stronger your supernova uh, damage will be. So the answer for this question is strength. For question number eight, they ask, imitation metals copy the what of other metals? Um, now, just a quick reference by imitation metals they're talking about copy metals um, people in the community will just refer to them as copy metals or their nickname copycats <laughs> so just kind of throwing that out there in case you happen to see these terms on the internet but they give you the options of special attack slash attributes supernova or traits the answer for this one is going to be special attack slash attributes uh, copycats cannot copy a metal supernova that's the entire reason why we now have Kingdom Hearts 3 Lee uh, printed now, because of the fact that he's the only copycat in the in the game as of right now that contains the, its own supernova ability. Um, all other imitation metals or copycats in the game do not have their own supernova. Uh, copycats can only copy the special attacks, uh, the special attack multiplier, and attribute and ability of the metal it's copying. It does not copy the actual strength or defense stats of the metal. Uh, it does not copy traits. Uh, it does not copy pet traits either. It does not copy supernova. So the answer for this one is going to be special attacks slash attributes. For question number nine, they ask, which accurately describes imitation metals? Given the options of copy strength, but not skills and traits, copy strength and skills, but not traits, doesn't copy strength, skills, or traits. Okay. So I kind of gave the answer to this already in the last question, but the answer to this question is going to be the last one does not copy strength, skills, or traits. Uh, in case you want the explanation, is go ahead and check out the previous question's uh, explanation. For question number 10, they asked, the metal Nominate EX Plus changes the next metal to attack what targets? 
Now, this one isn't really much of a learning experience at all. <laughs> this is just a straight up, like, trivial type question. Um, but the answer to this is going to be all. Uh, I'll even post a picture of the metal itself up on the screen. But it literally turns the attack target of the next metal into an AoE metal. Okay, so it, the answer to the question is all. All right, that's it for today, guys. I hope you happen to learn something in case you are a beginner uh, or a new player to the game. Hope you found this insightful as well for any veteran players out there who just happen to be watching this video. Maybe this, uh, hopefully this was a good refresher for you guys as well. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. It is the best way I know when I upload more videos such as this one. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Union Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace, guys.